conjugation uh, or you know just write an essay there was an essay section which I did very well on but the other section was find the really small error in this sentence and the sentence looked perfect they basically used all of the exceptions that they could in those exams so um, what I did was I went to the exam just to see what it would be like. I wanted to get a feel for what the questions were like so that I would know how to study for the exam the next time. I didn't do so well the first time. I passed the essay part. I didn't really, I failed the, uh, the grammar part because once again, it was all of the exceptions. I realized what the structure of the exam would be, what kinds of questions I'd be asked. And six months later, I went to write it again and I received a 70%. So I was able to teach history and geography in French. Actually, I even taught French for the first time um, a couple of years ago. I was teaching the French language. And um, so I've, I've overcome quite a few barriers as an Anglophone living in Quebec. And that was because I pushed myself to do better. There were many people that I graduated from high school with who were doing the same French courses as myself and who don't feel comfortable communicating in French the way that I do because they never worked in a fully French setting or because they you know, never pushed themselves in that way and, and were afraid of French. You know, They kind of stuck to English opportunities. But I don't think that was good for them. I think that the best thing is always to push yourself, uh, you know, go into the unknown, try new things. You can never lose out from learning a new language. You will only benefit from learning a new language and any kind of skill for that matter. So uh, you guys are young. You have so many opportunities ahead of you. You have so much potential. No barrier can stand in the way of you succeeding. Even if you are terrible at math and science right now uh, and you decide in your mind that you want to be a doctor, you can. You can you know, continue working on your math and science skills until they're really good and it becomes more natural to you and you could go out there and do whatever you want. So the same thing with the French language. If you want a career and you believe that having French as a skill is going to look better for you in the future, is going to help you with your opportunities in your different careers that you have in your lifetime, it's definitely true. People in outside of Quebec pay more for people who have French on their CV and who know how to use French properly. Um, I just really encourage you guys to, to get out there, to learn it in whatever way you can. It's not enough to learn it only in school. Get out there, meet French friends, uh, you know, have conversations, join, start reading French books, go out there and try to find work experiences in French. Come to Quebec if you don't live here already. Um, so that you can really immerse yourselves in, um, in the French culture and, and just in the French language. And I, I truly believe that you'll benefit from it. I know that I have. Right now as an MP, an Anglophone MP from Quebec, I obviously represent quite a few Francophones. And um, I make sure that in the House of Commons, most of my interventions are done in both languages. Um, because I believe that it's important to fully represent both languages across Canada. So we're lucky here in Canada to have two official languages. We're lucky that we have such a beautiful and diverse country where everybody comes together so beautifully. And the only way to make it better for everyone is by, um, you know, learning how to live with each other and learning each other's languages in order to fully communicate properly with each other and, and to thrive. So get out there and learn French. Uh, it will not hurt you, I promise. It's only going to benefit you and uh, feel free to reach out if ever you have any questions.